outskirts of our galaxy, a relic from the ancient progenitor civilization has surfaced. And I fear what could happen if it fell into the wrong hands. Some say heroes aren't born. Heroes are made. I guess cliches exist for a reason, because our hero is just in the making. Bob, how is our test subject doing? Oh, well, look who's awake, our little thief. Are you really so stupid as to think you could steal from the great CRT? Heck, I'm not even sure how you're still alive after that gruesome reconstruction. But hey, I'm not complaining. Once your brand new arm's complete, you'll be able to sucker punch people into orbit, baby. Now, if all this sounds a little strange to you, it's probably because I've started removing your memories. I know, I know. A tad extreme, but that's just how I roll. Can't let you keep that pesky free will of yours, can we? Okay, <laughs> bye now. Installation complete. This was a rather unfortunate turn of events, although you no longer remember said events. Hmm. Stand by. Initialize kinetic weapon system. It would seem that you have a much greater role to play, Skylar. Let's get you out of here. Now, first things first. Are you able to walk? Splendid! You seem to be fit as a fiddle. Now, I am more than a regular arm. Use me to punch through those boxes. Wait! How did you get out? I mean, I see you're uh, taking a stroll. Good. You'll need some train. Don't bother jumping those containers, though. It's not like you can jump twice in the air or something. What? Bob? You never told me she was gravity defying. I'm terribly sorry, sir. I, I should have known. Try my other function on this swarm bot, the spin attack. The spin attack also functions as a triple jump while in the air. Oh, so you slapped around Dave and Steve. They were useless anyway. Alright, end of the road, you rascal. You can't get through here. Ah, shrimp sticks. I blame you, Bob. I blame you. Step on red buttons to activate all manner of mechanisms. Swing nodes, use your grappling beam to swing it. Bob? What do those things even do? She's getting away. You're forcing my hand here, kitten. Time to wake up our little friend. <laughs> Kitty cats. <laughs> Get her! Ah, dang it, you imbecile. You complete. Now's your chance, Kyla. Escape.
Space for Impact. <gasps> no way! Today's finally the day! Woo! This is it! I'm Audi! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Greetings, feathery friend. Greetings, you guys. I'm Plux, and these islands are my home. Mi isla es su isla. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Plux. But we have urgent matters to attend to. Skyla, if you wish to regain the memory CRT erased, you must find the progenitor structure called the Siphon. And oh, I think I know what you're talking about. The islanders always jam about that thing. It's some huge, ancient-looking thingamajig, right? That, uh, sounds just like it, I guess. Can you take us there? I know these islands like the back of my wing. Let me show you the way. Now, I know felines don't like getting wet, and your mechanical arm is far too heavy for you to be swimming. So watch out for large bodies of water. Note to self, keep kitty cat out of water. Oh, 
Thank you, young one. And thank you, two plucks. Hey, don't sweat it. But what in the name of funk is going on? A terrible calamity has struck our island. And he calls himself the CRT. His greedy attempt to deconstruct the siphon broke it apart, and I can feel the life force of this moon seeping away. It's an ancient progenitor mechanism powered by three fuses. As the CRT stole one of them, the other two returned to their original places of creation. On the highest point of the island. In the seed lost in time. And the stolen one is kept in a fortress of steel. He has imprisoned my people, the Loar, trying to extort us into revealing the Fuse's locations. Oh, please, if you find any of my children, break open their cages just like mine. And for the trouble, I will increase your health. So if you ever feel weak and beat down, remember to come and talk to me. That sure seems like a tall order. I'm sure you'll do fine, Skylar. Pleasure meeting you. Plux, I know you haven't embraced Clover Island as your home, and I understand that. But it needs you now more than ever. What? Me? You know this island, so you must guide Skylar on her journey. I guess I know my way around. Sure, if you say so, jelly beans. Very good, my friends. And Skylar, let Clover Mountain be a trial of your courage. Best of luck to you both. All right, let's go on an adventure. There are still imprisoned Loa out there. Please release more of them, and I will increase your health. been soaring around this place for years. Finding that fuse should be a piece of cake. Let's not be away for too long. I'm waiting for my papa to come and get me. He'll be back any day now. Just so you survived the fall. Uh, 
I bet Bob you wouldn't make it. Guess I owe you a kick in the bolts, huh, Bob? <laughs> Skyler, do you know this guy? And looky here. You've already befriended a primitive native. A quaint. And who are you supposed to be? I don't know how to say this, but I'm kind of a big deal. People know me. Wait, you never heard of the mighty CRT? You pigeon? Ha! CRT? Does that stand for a... Cranky robot turd or something? No, it's uh none of your business. Bob and the transmission. Huh. What a sensitive guy. metal stuff wasn't here before. We'll have to get around it somehow. Hey, look! There's a thingamajig straight ahead. Let's see what it is. You found the jet it allows you to hover through the air, rocket jump to high places, and rocket roll over your enemies. Remember, keep an eye on your energy meter. Once a thief, always a thief. Ain't that the truth, huh, pussycat? Well, fine. It's just a prototype anyway. Probably just gonna break it like you do everything else. And who's that talking through your arm anyway? Bob? Is it supposed to do that? Uh, I'm not entirely sure, sir. Then what am I even paying you for? You're not actually paying me, sir. Oh, right. <laughs> Silly me.
this place. It's so soothing and easy on the eyes. I think the words you're looking